Okay, so if you're a career woman or you're a writer and you're in the NaNoWriMo competition each year, in November we take 30 days to write a 50,000 word novel, we don't have much time to cook. And the same as with Script Frenzy in April, where we write screenplays, the same thing applies. So what I started doing is I've started video blogging recipe ideas that are easy for writers to use. Um, stuff from 2 to 3 minutes to 30 minutes to an hour to 3 hours, depending on, and I time it all. And then I give you ideas what to do in between your cooking times and stuff. So this is a new series that I'm starting on my channel. And one of the things that I got off the internet is called This Week's Meals. It's at www.grocerybudget101.com. Um, it talks about a $50 weekly menu plan. That's your choice if you want them to do it. But you can uh, download this PDF for free. And then you write in what you're going to do. So I don't write in my breakfast because I go through either apple, cinnamon, oatmeal for breakfast. Or I have toast, peanut butter, and Granny Smith apples. I mean, I just one or the other. So what I do in my breakfast section is I cook whatever, I write down what has to be cooked that day. And if it's in the freezer, then I can pull it out and put it in the fridge. And I know that it'll take at least 24 hours for it to thaw out. If it's meats, you need at least two to three days. Um, two pounds of meat needs three days to thaw out in the fridge. And one pound needs two days. Okay, so what we did with the, uh, can't really see it. So I cooked the scalloped potatoes Monday morning. And then I put them in the fridge into little containers and some of the containers I'll stick right in the freezer like this see these little containers you get them at the Dollarama so I got my scalp potatoes and I got cabbage rolls in there so basically I buy big big items at the grocery store or I'll make a big pot of something and then I'll just divide it up into several meals um, because I don't eat the same things as my spouse does he eats a lot of different things than me so it gets to be a problem so what we do is we make our own love this is my own little menu here for myself I don't know what his menu is he just eats whatever he feels like so anyways I've got uh, beef with rice and julienne salad for lunch and then supper I had a hot beef sandwich with candied carrots and mashed potatoes and gravy I did a video about that and then I did the clubhouse sloppy joes I did a video about that cucumbers and dip is basically ranch dip with chopped up cucumbers and peppers um, then I did the scalp potatoes with a slice of ham with mustard. That was easy. And your scalp potatoes take two to three minutes to heat up in the microwave, depending on how much you'd scoop. If it's one scoop, it's one or two minutes. If it's like three scoops and you're a huge eater, then you would take five minutes to heat it up, okay? And I've got an 800 watt microwave, so if you go to 1200, then of course it's going to be less time for every difference in wattage you add a minute or you subtract a minute so if you got an 800 watt microwave and the recipe calls for five minutes add a minute if you got a 1200 watt recipe you're fine because most recipes that you buy um, are for like 1200 watts um, but if you have something less than that then you add or subtract your minutes and the pulled pork I got from Prime Cuts so I bought one container of it for seven bucks and it did six meals like it was a lot and each meal, what I do is, is I toast one hamburger bun and serve it open, and I just pile tons of meat on it, so it's very filling. Then I had car carrots, potatoes, and gravy, which was leftover from this dinner. So any leftovers, you do two days after. Don't do it the next day or you'll get sick of it. So you do it two days after. If you don't use it up, throw it in the freezer. Your gravy, your potatoes, whatever. And you can always use it for something else. So on Thursday, I have cooked the chicken in the morning so I had scalloped potatoes again then I had kielbasa with um, mustard sandwich and then for supper I had hot chicken with uh, gravy and I buy the packaged gravy mixes it's a, one cup of water with the mix you just stir together and boil it it's really fast and easy um, with the scalloped potatoes again then on Friday I cooked the beef stew so what I had to do was Wednesday two days prior I had to take my beef stew out of the freezer and just put it in the fridge and let it thaw out okay so then I cooked my beef stew but as you can see I didn't eat it right because I got too late to doing it so then I added another pulled pork sandwich again with fries and then I cooked my beef stew Friday night and then I had it for Saturday so then I had my kielbasa again with cheese and crackers whatever kielbasa I don't use I chop it up stick it in the freezer put it in a little freezer bag and then serve it with just vinegar as a as a snack 
okay? And then beef stew again for supper. That would be nice. If you're having a meal with people and you like want more than just beef stew, because we were watching movies last night and I didn't feel like having a whole bunch of stuff, you could have a julian salad with it, uh, which I have the recipe up already, or you could have um, little buns with butter, that kind of thing. And then for Sunday today, we're going to have spaghetti with meatballs, and then we're going to order pizza. So the meatballs, we already got them right here. They're frozen. So then all we do is we cook them in with the spaghetti sauce, and that heats them up. They're already pre-cooked, so that's awesome. So anyway, that gives you some ideas on how to save on your grocery budget. So basically, I bought groceries for two weeks worth of groceries, and I've stretched it over four weeks. Okay, so it saves you time. You don't have to go to the grocery store. And then on the very bottom is a grocery list. These are things that you need for your recipes. Now, I, I put two pounds of stew beef, which is something I needed to buy. I already had all the other meat because I went to the meat store, and I pre-buy enough meat to last me for at least two or three weeks. And then the tomatoes, and uh, I need a tomato and sour cream for when I make tacos because I have tacos on standby. And basically, I always keep those in case I have company coming over for dinner and I need something really quick and easy. And I buy the box of tacos for about four bucks. 